Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to review the Baron Fig Archer Pencils. Now these just came in. I ordered them from uh, Baron Fig. They're in New York City. And it comes in this um, grayish, I guess graphite colored uh, cylinder, which I think is pretty nifty for a pencil case. There, of course, we've already seen the Baron Fig New York City. That's where they're from. And they're called Archer Pencils. It says the pencil is one of the oldest and best tools to get your ideas down on paper journey on friend and then this charcoal graphite the charcoal part I believe is in reference to the color of the pencil at least part of the pencil not the whole pencil and we'll look at that in a minute and then there's some more here Baron Fig New York City tools for thinkers designed with a philosophy of simplicity usefulness and community all right, and there's their website right there. Now, I purchased this with my own money. This was not um, sent to me by Baron Fig, whereas I have seen blogs over the past few weeks, and they have the disclaimer that Baron Fig sent it to them for free. I did not contact the company and request them send it to me for free, but rather um, I purchased them. They run $15, around there, 15 bucks, and you get 12 pencils. So it's 12 for $15, which puts it, uh, you know, somewhat over a dollar a pencil. So they're, they are a, a high-end pencil as far as cost. Not quite the cost of, let's say, a Blackwing, which runs more around a dollar eighty. However, we may be talking about apples and oranges when comparing these to a Blackwing, which I will gladly do uh, shortly within this video because um, as this is my review of the Baron Fig, I always tend to compare the more expensive pencils with the Blackwing, which are my personal favorite. And yes, of course, I would have a bias, but that bias is because the Blackwing, of course, is a very nice pencil, and I don't don't think there's much debate on that. This is a really cool carrying case. I, I really like this. I think it's very classy. Um, it it looks like they've given it a lot of thought as to how to present this product, and uh, I think they definitely want to give it some class. And I think they've uh, hit the mark on it being a classy look for a container. And the pencil itself is a very nice looking pencil. It's got a very nice dark graphite paint job, kind of a semi-gloss. You can see the reflection uh, from the lighting that I have here. Uh, you can see that uh, it says Baron Fig. And I would say that that's probably a, a white a white lettering on there that looks white and then there is the arrow which no doubt represents the archer name the wood that is used here looks to be a high quality and when I had sharpened it uh, it didn't look like it was cheap but instead it does look like it's very nice and the core seems to be centered really nice here for when you can see as I had sharpened that pencil that uh, it exposes the graphite core pretty well all the way around rather than having uh, one side being way more exposed than the other which is often uh, due to the core being slightly off in the center there. But I'm going to give it a little more of a sharpen because I was already playing with this earlier. I couldn't help myself. I didn't want to wait 
to do the video uh, so I went ahead and started writing with it now I'm gonna go and I think this time I'm gonna use the um, QM long point two-step sharpener here for this I don't have to do much because it looks like it's held a point pretty good but I will do a writing demonstration with this and give you an idea of what I think of it okay there we go so it held up well in the sharpener as you can see it has a very nice point all the way around and I like to see that so that that's really a good first impression right there now I have a very heavy hand when I write and I find that when I write with a point like this I have a tendency of snapping the end off and it's no different with this particular pencil because I had already snapped the end off once is that point is ridiculous and you really have to have a very light hand not to um, snap that in off okay so anyway I'm going to zoom in here and give you my play-by-play -play on this pencil the pencil by the way feels very light in the hand I'll tell you that it just it's very very light it's it just almost has no weight to it at all it's just very very light and with this charcoal backing here you can see that's where the charcoal wording comes from it's that tip you have on the very back here that paint tip you can see there's no eraser here on the back so it's weighted slightly different than if you were to uh, use a black wing and I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out the 602 here's a black wing 602 you can see it has a ferrule and an eraser and so the weighting on that is going to be a little more to the back of the hand and it's also a very light pencil but this one is lighter because it doesn't have any of that there which is fine um, for those of you who don't want a pencil that has much weight to it uh, it certainly fits the bill there now I'm gonna go ahead and start writing here this is the the Baron Baron, I should have wrote Baron Fig. Now this is where eraser would come in. I'm going to borrow the eraser here from the black wing that I have. There we go. So take a note that you're going to need to have a eraser, a separate eraser on standby if you use this pencil and you're on the road somewhere. Um, nice to have one in your kit. Okay, this is the Baron, Baron Fig. Okay, and um, called Archer. I believe that's how Archer is spelled. Let's see. Yep, A R C H E R. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, very good. All right, pencil. Okay. <clears throat> Now the first thing I noticed is that that of the pencils that I normally use, such as the Blackwing, this one here is a harder pencil. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't have the the smoothness of a Blackwing, but it is a how would I say um, it is a lighter harder type graphite which is likely uh, going to result in the point uh, holding for a long duration between sharpening which is usually what you would expect from a, a pencil that um, writes harder and lighter now is it an unpleasant pencil to write with no it, it's it's fine um, I'm gonna write here that it is a and I just there I snap my tip because I'm such a brute but it is a harder lighter graphite and so with that um, you could expect 
greater. Okay, point retention. Now, many of you out there who enjoy pencils such, like I do, um, many of you like the harder graphite uh, where you can write for longer periods of time between sharpening. Um, but then there are those like myself who have a preference to the softer, darker pencil. So, for example, I'm going to pull this camera away here. That would be the opposite direction. There we go. So for myself personally, you know, my preference again is the uh, the black wing pencil. I'm going to go ahead and, and write it, write something down here with the black wing 602, which is not actually the, it's not even the hardest black wing. I'll tell you what, instead I'm going to use I'm going to use this one right here, which is the 24, the solid black uh, Blackwing. And the reason I'm going to use this one is because it is the hardest Blackwing made. Okay, looks like it's already it's already got a point. Okay, so that way I can give you a comparison of what the hardest black wing, which is an extra firm graphite, how it compares to the Baron Fig, which is definitely an extra firm type of pencil, which I would I would say that this would be your standard your standard HB type pencil. Okay. Let me uh, go ahead and, and write something here. I'm going to I'm going to write down uh, <clears throat> this this is the Palomino Blackwing twenty four. Okay, this one here is the the um, what do they call it the extra firm. Okay, graphite. Okay, so of all the black wings, this would have uh, the best point retention. Okay, so this would be the best point retention of all the black wings. Now, what I can tell you here, in, in way of a comparison, okay, and you can also see for yourself, the Baron Fig pencil is definitely lighter than the lightest black wing made today, which is the 24, and the most recent one that was, uh, that just came out, which I believe was the uh, gold 530 but I believe that they're the hardest firmest of the black wing line the black wing 24 for example or, or I'll just say the most firm black wing writes darker than the Baron fig and is smoother than the Baron fig so the Baron fig is definitely a harder graphite and you'll definitely feel it as you're writing you'll be able to notice that um, it is harder when you write there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you enjoy but as far as point retention what I can tell immediately was that the black wing was wearing down faster and I'm going to show you here, and I'm not sure if it will be visible, but we'll we'll take a look at this. It appears that they're identical. 
but for some reason the black wing feels to me like I'm I, I need to I need to give it another point so it's it's kind of a feeling more than anything this point seems to be let's see if I can get that in, up there this is the barren fig here mind you and if I can get it to focus you can see that point right there it seems to have more of a point than the black wing if you'll notice the black wing seems to be worn down more so there's it's more of a blunt end to it and I can tell when I'm writing with the two pencils that I have more distance that I can go with the barren fig before I need to give it another point than the black wing however for myself personally this is nothing against the the barren fig but for myself personally uh, I enjoy a softer write, a more buttery write, and I also like darker writing. I am not a big fan of the lighter writing. Uh, however, there are many of you out there that are a fan of the lighter uh, pencils. Now, I can give you some other comparisons here, for example, uh, for those of you who like comparisons. Because, for example, I have this... Uh, Tombow Mono R and uh, it is rated as an HB pencil okay as you can see right there okay this says drafting high precision and I've worn this down pretty good because it is another pencil that I like to use and it also doesn't have an eraser just like the Baron Fig doesn't have an eraser and uh, it's an HB which is what I was basically referring to this as and HB and what we'll do is we'll do an MB grading on this so I can give you an exact rating compared to the Mitsubishi but if I show you how it compares to this Tombow Mono this is the Tombow Mono R HB pencil okay between the two Between the two, the Tombow Mono is softer, darker, than the Baron Fig, which feels a little harder and is a little lighter. So they're not identical, and yet this one is referred to as an HB. So the question is, how would we rate this one with the MB grading? And that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to start off now with the Baron Fig, and I'm just going to right here in this area here, I'm going to go ahead and, and lay down uh, a nice uh, layer of shading here so that we can test this out. definitely has a hardness to it. I can feel that. We're going to saturate this paper as best as possible. And it's really keeping its point really good though. So that's definitely a plus for a harder pencil. Is that, you know, you're not going to have to sharpen it as much. Do the diagonal. Let's do the diagonal. Alright. 
So that's pretty much blended there. And this here is the Baron Fig Archer. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab the. There we go. It's the Bishi High Uni HB. Um, just as a matter of comment, the HB Mitsubishi is smoother for an HB pencil in comparison. So. definitely a difference noticeable difference between the two pencils and it should be noted of course that the Mitsubishi high uni pencils are not designed for writing but they were designed for drawing and sketching and so it would be expected that their formulas would be such that would lend to a softer right and is not meant to keep a point which a writing pencil of course it's better to keep a point so that you don't have to stop your creative writing or your note taking in order to sharpen the you have to keep stopping and sharpening the pencil every five minutes actually it turns out to be more than every five minutes but you get my point no pun intended on that last comment there you get my point anyway oops i want to make a mess here so now i'm going to go this way And get this all saturated you can see that it's getting saturated because I can see it getting darker as I go across so I just keep on going okay the results of this test are already quite evident I can pretty much stop here because if you look closely the Mitsubishi HB is a darker pencil. Let me pull up so you can see. But you can see the shade of this is darker than the Baron Fig. And as far as point retention of the two, the Mitsubishi actually looks like it kept the point better. So I'll make a check it out here. Okay. So we can see the Baron Fig, the amount of wear from the stop to there. There we go. That's a good view right there. You can see that. It's right. It looks like. Um, just about the top of that S for stop. Now if I put the Mitsubishi in here, uh, I'll take a look at that. It barely is off the stop. Okay, so the interestingly the darker Mitsubishi HB pencil is softer and darker and it's an HB than the Baron Fig and it actually retained the tip better as well to achieve this darker mark. So that is something that is really good to know. So the Baron Archer, Baron Fig Archer pencil um, it definitely feels a little harder, not as soft, it's not as dark, and it didn't actually retain its point as well 
as the Mitsubishi HB. So there you go as a comparison. Um, I would say then that if it's not an HB, that it would likely compare with, let's see, the next one down would be from an HB, would be an F pencil, would be an H pencil. Okay, so here is the H pencil of the Mitsubishi, and I will give that a, okay, that looks like it's sharpened there. So let's make sure that goes all the way to the end. Yep, all right. So that everything is apples to apples. I am going to now do the H pencil. All right, and that feels harder <clears throat> than the HB, and obviously it should be because it's just an H pencil. Let's see how it will compare to the Baron Fig. So we at least can find out what we would rate the Baron Fig pencil as. That is definitely a hard pencil right here, this H. And I got a feeling that the Baron Fig is going to be darker than this as well because it's not as hard as this one is. So in a second here I'm going to stop because it looks like I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to achieve anywhere near the Baron Fig's darker quality. And that that's a given. Okay, so we know that it's darker than an H pencil. So I'm going to stop there with that. And that leaves me with one last pencil to use in this case, and that would be the F pencil. I'm not sure where that falls in the scale here, but let's see. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this. Okay, that's already done there. Give it a point. All right. Let's see how it compares with the F. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just stop this here because I've pretty much saturated that. Well, I, I think you can probably see that that the F is darker than the Fig, but the Fig is much darker than the H. So it would seem that this does fall between an H and an HB because, and there's a big difference here, um, because it's not quite as dark as an HB. Um, it's not actually quite as dark as an F pencil. So it's, it's, it's just under the F, but it is above the, the H. The H is just plain hard. So, um, that's that right there. And then I guess as far as retention, yeah, this is going all the way to the backstop too. So I haven't really used up much of a point on that. And see. <clears throat> so there you go. That is basically where we are with the um, Baron Fig pencil. It it doesn't exactly reach the level of an HB uh, in tonal quality, you know, tonal value, I should say. Uh, so it, it it is lighter and harder than the HB range here in comparison to the Mitsubishi High Uni uh, pencils. Uh, it isn't even quite the tonal value of an F pencil which is below the HB uh, in this set. So there you go folks. That's the Baron Fig Archer pencil from New York. I hope this review helps you when you consider uh, your next purchase of pencils. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.